Hello, this is Rick Durr again with Product Creation Lab, Firehorse Investments. Wanted to go through just how we did some of the blue screen stuff. This is uh, just some little details that uh, can help you when you're doing blue screen. And uh, first off, we'll be working with some documents uh, that we already have. I'm using a lot of just images and some uh, video clips that I've already done. So for the images, I know I want to use a batch of them here, and I'm not even sure if what I'm going to do right now is going to work. So far it doesn't look like it is. There we go. I think I can just drag and drop, but I haven't tried that. So I'm going to the, the bar down below and dragging, and then pulling them back up to media pool here and letting them go. So that does does work. You can drag and drop your media in there. And I went to open uh, from my videos just the Untitled 7. It's one of my captures. And got uh, this up here. So I wanted to make sure I showed you that step. Uh, sometimes it'll just put it in the media pool and then you drag it so you know you can move them around. But for right now, we've got it uh, up there, and that is a complete um, set of images. Now, I'm not going to go and do all the playback. Um, there'll be some places where I would have cut this, maybe started early and then messed up and started over, you know, some of those kind of things in there. So we're not going to worry about that right now. main thing I want to show you is how to cut out the blue screen and put these other images in. So to get to the, the blue screen part, there's two ways you can do it. You can do it across the whole project or you can do it across uh, just the clip you're working with. And so sometimes I want to change them. So go down here to the event FX and that opened a little wider so I'm going to leave it right there so you can see chroma blur is the first one I want to pick and I click OK and then uh, I want to pick another one which is chroma key and I click add and then click OK okay so chroma blur um, what you're doing usually is you're watching these edges and you're just trying to get it so it's not quite so jaggy and sometimes it's hard to see actually in the uh, preview itself and on this one I just happen to know that uh, when I did it before I usually work in a bigger window than 800 by 600 so it's a little easier to see those things it was about in this range and now we'll do chroma key now what you're doing here is you're actually trying to get the RGB values out of the background so that you can key it out one way to do that is to grab an eyedropper and uh, pick a value and you'll see some numbers come up there the other way you can do that is to actually pick a range and it uh, gives you different numbers now this as you can see doesn't look like it's really doing what it should I'll go to black uh, to mask only and um, as you adjust these, you know, it looks like, gee, that's not going to work out. It's it's getting highlights there. So you adjust those, it's not doing, you know, it's supposed, the background is supposed to go to black, but everything else is supposed to stay uh, white to be able to get cut out. So if I did it like this, what we'd end up with is a real mess. Now, what I found out, and this is a trick that uh, I learned uh, from just experimenting, was that these original values always have to be adjusted but this number is the key number my background really doesn't look in this preview the way it has in previous ones and I happen to know the RGB values so I can set those and then set these numbers but if you notice up here where it says preset once you've got it good with your particular background you can actually use a preset and by going to that that uh, preset 
it will give you the correct color value for your background and then the thresholds also so as you can see now in the preview window this is pure white this is pure black and that's what you're after as you adjust them you can see where they can kind of come in and out a little bit so that's what these adjustments are for again just by using a preset though boom you're ready to go so if you know your background it's pretty straightforward uh, once you've done it once to just save it as a preset and bring it up and you're ready to, to, to go right away don't forget to uncheck the uh, show mask so that you get back to the normal look and then anything that's black will be replaced by your image and to do that you're going to put it in a track here and you right click on the first track and you want to insert a video track now it sometimes puts it above but what you want is down below so you just drag it below so it's going to go between these two and let's just take this first image here and as you drag it up if you drop it where the the cursor is it'll actually show up right when you drag it up there so there's the uh, the first image we've got let's go ahead and find say if now there's Robbie LeBlanc Kevin Davis and myself let's put that one there next to it and what you'll see here is and I'm gonna move in on the timeline a little so you can get a bigger shot of the image there is two separate images if you want to transition all you gotta do is slide them together and it'll just do a simple crossfade and then as you watch that in the preview okay you could see that transition over and so that's a very quick and easy way to, to just transition between two uh, images now I turned off those speakers because the audio isn't going to match up with what we're trying to do here so I don't want to get the anything confused you can move any point in your timeline just by clicking on it you can see the crossfade happening here and then to test you know you just go back to a point start it playing watch the background and uh, if that looks like it's fast enough for you then you're ready to go and if you're playing along and you say something you can pause and if that's the point where I want to change the image and bring it to there say let and we're going to transfer another image in there let's grab there's Russell Brunson and myself and then that's going to be our transition point it starts going you see the transition and there you go